My baby is 50. I don't know how that happened. I'm only 39 myself. But anyway, Janet, it's been wonderful to have you reach 50. Keep going. You've got a wonderful family. You've done a wonderful job with them. We all love you, and you're a lot of fun. Janet looks spectacular on her 50th birthday. If I looked that good when I was 70, I'd be happy. Brother Steve and I, our job after after dinner was to either we could either wash the dishes or we could take care of Janet. And we used to fight over who would get to wash the dishes. <laughs> because the dishes could be done in five minutes and then you're done. You had to take care of Janet until she went to bed. And that, that was like a three-hour job. But she's become a, one of the joys in my life. Janet personifies uh, relationship building. She's just terrific. She really, really is. I, uh, I love you, Janet, and I want to raise a toast to you. You're here. You're here. You're here. May you have many, 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 many more wonderful birthdays. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So there were so many things in her life that I, I was already into adulthood that we didn't quite make. So I'm happy to be here tonight for her 50th. Thank you. Thank you. It was just, I think, two weeks ago I called her and said... Mom, I can't stand anyone here. They're all making me angry. She goes, isn't that normal? <laughs> and it was the first smile I had on my face the entire day. And next day, she was up at Gettysburg seeing me and says, all I know you needed was an ice cream and a kiss, and you would be fine. So whether it's my car malfunctioning, like not having a third wheel or fourth wheel, or just someone to talk to, you're always there for me. I just want to say thank you. This year is my first year in high school, and, you know, all the cliches go, it's the hardest year. It really was. It was a hard year, but my mommy helped me through it every day, because she was always home for me and always made my meals, always gave me money. She was always there for me. It reminds me when um, it was, I was at least seven or six or something, we were doing the Race for the Cure, and I say, my mommy's my favorite, because she always has money in her pocket. <laughs> And I just wanted to wish you the best of wishes, and I hope you have a great birthday. I love you, Mommy. <laughs> she means so much to me. She's one of the personas, my favorite people in the world. She's been there for me, and I can't thank her enough. M me too. <laughs> for both of us. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Awesome. I know, right? Most people, don't know, about it. most people don't know that your mom went to five different colleges. Yep. Did you know that? I knew that. You know, okay. Yeah. Most people don't know that. Yeah. But it worked out well for her, right? She got thrown out of three of them. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my favorite memory of Janet is convincing her that seahorses really are real creatures and not mythical creatures. It took a little while to do that because Janet didn't believe that seahorses were real. All right, Mom. Just want to tell you that you are my best friend. No matter if it's if I'm mad at you or if I'm sad at you or if I'm just upset at all or I'm not upset, or if I'm happy, if I'm joking with you, taking ADP, ADD pills with you, anything. I love you and you've always been there for me and you're my best friend. So I hope you have a wonderful party and a wonderful birthday. And like Uncle Steve said, many more to come. The party is fantastic. Everyone's dancing now, everyone's happy. Food's almost gone. I had to clean up all the trash, but it's going well. What I expected. <laughs> Everybody here having a great time Nothing celebrating else. her 50th. 
she looks hot in that red dress. <laughs>